I'm Yazuoho with The Gamer, and if you're having trouble beating the volleyball creep in Persona 5 Royal, this is the Shadow Kamoshida Boss Guide. So you just completed the first palace, Kamoshida's Castle, training and fusing your personas for the inevitable boss, Shadow Kamoshida. Since it is the first boss, it's simple to get through but you should still be wary and watch out for certain moves. He sadly has no weaknesses, but he doesn't have any resistances, nullifications, or reflections either, so you can really just use anything on him. What I suggest is debuffing his attack and defense while buffing your team members, with everyone using their greatest strength against him. For example, Ryuji should use Lunge instead of Zeo for most of the fight, since he does have a higher strength stat. To even begin the fight, prepare and head to the throne's safe room. When you're ready, leave and head for the treasure and you'll begin the fight soon enough. There's not much to the first phase aside from wailing on him. Designate Morgana as the main healer and Ryuji as the main damage dealer with Lunge. While Joker should use buffs and debuffs, they are SP expensive so mix in a couple of HP skills or normal attacks when it's his turn. On can play the role of both healer and damage dealer with Dia and Augie respectively. Once you chipped away enough of his health bar, Kamoshida begins eating the people in his chalice, healing him to full. Although frustrating, you now unlock the ability to attack the chalice. It's nowhere near as tanky as Shadow Kamoshida, so put all your attention to destroying it as fast as possible. After destroying the chalice, he begins using his ultimate move, the kill shot. Make sure you block whenever he does this move. You decide to have someone steal Kamoshida's crown while the remaining three keep him busy. Choose anybody but on as she'll get caught. Since you have to make sure you keep Kamoshida distracted, make sure you have someone that will help deal good damage consistently. For me, I chose Morgana to steal the crown while I buff Ryuji and debuff Shadow Kamoshida. Continue dealing more damage until your chosen thief knocks off Shadow Kamoshida's crown, immensely increasing your damage. Beyond that, just continue beating on him till he finally goes down. Celebrate beating your first boss and escape from the palace where all that's left waiting for you are peaceful everyday activities. For more Persona 5 Royal guides and tips, check out thegamer.com. Thanks for watching.